Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Strata Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can run a difference in difference regression using rec command. I will be using uh, this do file for the entire video. I will also use an example data set from Strata. This data set is from Card and Kroger 1994 paper where they look at the minimum wages and unemployment, a case study of the fast food industry in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Okay. So uh, in order to do that, let's open the data and browse. So we can see that we have a store ID and a time variable where February 1992 equal to zero. That means uh, pre-period and February 1992 and November 1992 equal to one. That means uh, post-period. And variable treated is a treatment variable where you can see New Jersey equal to one. That means um, your treatment state or group and Pennsylvania equal to zero. That means your control state or uh, group. And uh, variable FTE is a full-time employment and it's a continuous variable. And um, the others BK, KF, uh, C, Royce, and Wendy's, uh, they are the e store dummies. Okay. So uh, before I run the simple difference in difference regression, I need to um, generate a new variable who is uh, for difference in difference coefficient. So I can generate the new variable by interacting the time, um, uh, the treatment variable uh, and the time variable. So let's generate this variable. Okay, you can see the variable is now generated. Um, so now let's run this um, simple difference in difference regression without control variable. Um, so this is my outcome variable FTE and uh, this is my treatment um, variable and this is my time variable and this is my uh, new variable I just created to find the difference in difference coefficient. Um, so um, um, let's, um, so I, I want to look at what happens um, to the New Jersey's full-time employment um, compared to the control state Pennsylvania's full-time employment in February 1992 and November 1992. Um, um, and to their differences. So um, let's run this command. And you can see DID. This is my uh, the coefficient for difference in difference um, regression. And um, I can, uh, you can see it's uh, 2.913982. Uh, and uh, uh, this coefficient is statistically significant. So um, the question is um, how we can interpret this um, coefficient. Um, so we can uh, see that the coefficient is 2.91 uh, something so that um, uh, you can say the full-time employment of New Jersey increased by um, 2.914 points 
uh, in November 1992 compared to the control state Pennsylvania. And the result is statistically significant. So you can also add or control for um, some other variables. Mm. So this comment showing that um, I am controlling for some stored dummies uh, uh, with uh, my previous command. So let's run this command. And now you can see the coefficient for difference in difference regression is 2.94. Uh, um, and uh, the result is statistically significant. Okay, so um, I think this video might be helpful for you guys mm, uh, to create, uh, to run the difference in difference regression using break command. Uh, now, um, uh, I want to show you an example uh, uh, from my own research. So let's clear uh, the previous data and open the new data and browse. So uh, here, ACA is my time variable where um, ACA equal to one means um, post implementation period and zero mean pre implementation period. And OS is my uh, treatment group or, or OS equal to one means treatment group and zero means um, south uh, region, that means uh, my control group. And uh, my outcome variable is um, health insurance. That means HI, this is, uh, if we, this is equal to one, that means people have health insurance and zero means no health insurance. So um, I want to look at, hmm, uh, what happened, the effect of ACA, um, that means Affordable Care Act on uh, health insurance um, in, the OA, in the West compared to the South region. So, so for um, to that, I, I need to create my, um, uh, difference in difference coefficient. So I am interacting with my time variable SCA and my control, my uh, treatment group um, OS. So then the variable is now generated. Um, now I'm running the simple difference. And now I can see the coefficient for difference in difference is um, uh, 0 0.03. Um, and um, my uh, outcome variable is a binary variable. So I can explain my coefficient that, um, the, that the ACA increased uh, health insurance by um, uh, by um, three percent, uh, by three percentage point uh, in the south compared to in the west compared to the south, and you can see that the coefficient is statistically significant. And um, also, I can uh, run with my controls. I added some extra variables to control for like age, age square, sex, um, marital status, education, um, uh, income, uh, hours of work, unemployment status, um, unemployment rate, inter interview language, and citizen status. 
Mm, so then if I run this one, then I can see this is my um, coefficient. And now I can see it slightly decrease, but and um, but it's is is still statistically significant. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I think this video might be helpful for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.